Another thing. I will be talking maybe this week or maybe next week. I don't fucking know. The next time I do my fucking makeup, bitch, I will be talking about my surgery because everybody's just like, Cardi, you got your ass done too big. You got your ass done too big. You got your ass done too big. But the T is, right? This is the T on the tailor right here. Oh, by the way, sometimes when we talk about T, me, me and my friends be like, ooh, let me tell you about the Tiana Taylor I got. <laughs> we courty, but whatever. All right, so let me tell you the T, right? The T is, after I gave birth to my son, my ass was fucking huge. And the reason why my ass was so fucking huge, because, bitch, I almost fucking gained 20. And you already know my ass already have some motherfucking ass shots. So my ass was already fucking huge as, uh, as shit. Like, putting that baby weight on my body, plus them ass shots. So what I did was... On this round, let me tell you something. Um, in August, I did surgery because a lot of people thought that I, well, as soon as I gave birth, I, I got my body done. No, bitch, I didn't. In August, I did surgery and I removed 95%, 95, 95% 95 of my biopolymeters. If you know what biopolymeters is, is ass shots. And it was a really crazy process. And um, all I'm going to say is, right, that if you're young, if you're 19, if you're 20, if you're 21, and sometimes you're too skinny, and you be like, oh, my God, I don't got enough fat to pull my ass and everything, so you resort to ass shots, bitch, don't fucking do it. Like, I am super, 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 super against motherfucking ass shots. I'm super against biopolymeters. I'm just against it because a bitch that done had, that done had two kids Culture, she didn't really did nothing to my body, but my son, he did a fucking number on me with his big motherfucking hair. His big motherfucking hair broke my fucking pussy, got me fat, all that shit. So, anyways, um, yes, I got it out of me. But of course, right? They took it out of me, but they still had to shape my butt because they took a lot of ass shots out. So. My butt is a little fluffy now. Somebody said, do a BBL anthem. Um, somebody said, your body looks good. I, I love my body how I look right now. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what, what the supernatural bitches is talking about. Because, no, there's natural bitches that, that like, they just don't care if you BBL or not. Then there's some bitches that, like, will OD shame you. Like, they're shame. Like, rah, rah. Then there's niggas that don't get no pussy at all. Because when you don't get no pussy, you the type of nigga that always talking shit about a bitch with a BBL, about a fat bitch, about a skinny bitch, because you just don't get none of it. So you're just going to talk your shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like, I, I, this nigga did his shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, this motherfucker doctor right here, he's the motherfucking truth. That nigga butched me a great. The fuck? That nigga put his knife to work. Yes, he fucking the, the knives up. That motherfucker right there. Mm, mm, mm. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway. That's what I'm going to say. I actually removed my ass shots off my butt. I removed 95% of it. And... Young girls do not... Not young girls, because it's young and older. Do not... Whatever you do... Don't get ass shots. Don't get ass shots, bro. I'm really against them. I'm all the way, I all the way support you if you want to do alterations to your body, if you love your body, whatever the fuck. I'm all the way with it. But do not get ass shots. I would never fucking recommend them. Um, luckily, my ass shots um, that I did when I was 20 years old. They never turned purple. They never got this color. They never did nothing stupid to me. Like, they, I never felt pain because a lot of bitches be feeling pain and shit. I never felt that. However, like, after I gave birth to my son and I gained all that weight and my ass just looked extremely, extremely big, I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I got to take this shit out. I got to fix my shit up. I got to fix it. You know what I'm saying? I got a little, a little, little sign, sign. A little thing, little
so yeah Somebody said, cardio, if you're preaching, this is a podcast. Nah, because niggas got to hear it because I was like, people need to understand, right? Like people need to understand that like a lot of people, they just don't come from the world that I come from. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of, a lot of, a lot of you, some of you motherfuckers, y'all live in the motherfucking country. Some of y'all are some college girls. Some of y'all just innocent people. I don't know, but, like, my world, like, Maserati, like, you know what it is. Like, you from New York, right? Like, when I was a dancer and everything, like, I had the titties. I had the bomb-ass tattoos. I had a six-packs. I could do a fucking whole split, everything. But, not split, but I, I could do crazy pole tricks, all that shit. But I was missing some ass. And, you know, um... When I was 20 years old and shit, I, I auditioned to a, a couple of videos and shit. And I always felt like, like they would pick more of the big booty girls. And it's just like, you know, that is a there's, it's a lot of peer pressure to like do certain shit. And then on top of that, like, it's like when you come, it really also depends on your nationalities. Like when you come from nationalities that like, they praise thick girls, they praise ass, they praise thighs, they praise all of that, like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, it's not, it's, it's hard to just be like, oh yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna walk around my flat ass. No, some of y'all happy with it and that's great, but that just wasn't me when I was young. So I did what I did. Fuck it. Suck my dick. The fuck? My ass, my ass took me a long way, bitch. Mm-hmm. Made me a lot of money. Made me a whole lot of motherfucking money. <laughs> or is that here in the studio, motherfucker? Why? Why are you asking where my man is at? You want to suck his dick? Somebody said fat transfer. Now, let me tell you something. And when it comes to BBLs, I, first of all, I, I'm going to let y'all know this one thing right here, right? I feel like all the celebrities and a lot of bad bitches always come to me for surgery advice. <laughs> Y'all talk a lot of shit, but a lot of a lot of them be in my DMs. And I love it because I'm 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 a type of person that like if you ask me for help, if you ask me for help, um and I fuck with you, I'm gonna help you. Just like one one no lie, I'm not even gonna front. Like I need it like when I I got my nose done. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I got my nose done, bitch, because I had a fucking big ass nose, bitch. My I had my daddy nose. That shit had to fucking go. Um, but anyways, um, somebody from the industry helped me with it. <laughs> so when somebody asked me for help, I wouldn't mind helping them. However, like I just don't know every single surgeon in the world. So I recommend them to surgeon maid, which that's my friend. But whole point is that it's like when it comes to BBLs, if y'all want advice from me, I'll tell y'all this, right? Before you get your BBL done, juice for two months. And I'm not talking about, like, juice, like, just do that. Like, you literally have to make sure your blood levels are right. If a doctor say your blood levels is too low or you have diabetes or whatever the fuck, don't do it, bitch. You're going to have to live with your flat or your fat ass. It don't matter, bitch. Like, don't ever risk it. You know what I'm saying? I never, don't ever risk it. But I always recommend for y'all to drink beet juice, carrot juice, coconut water before you do surgery. You have to be extremely fucking healthy. Like, bitch, if your heart is beating a little bit too fast or too slow, bitch, you better not get on that fucking table. That's one. Second, do your research because a lot of these doctors be editing their pictures. I, I, when somebody asks me because... 
a, the doctor that's good for me is not it might not be good for you because we have different body shapes so i always recommend them to surgeon made make sure you get a surgeon consultant because baby when you go to the these surgeons could finesse you especially if you if you're going to motherfucking dr or columbia bitch oh my god you fencing for yourself so i recommend to go to a surgeon consultant and go to the right surgeon because after you get surgery it's just it's just a lot of maintenance like a lot like you might get fibrosis that shit look fucking crazy on your fucking stomach you might not like your results you start getting depressed a little bit it's a lot like bitch it's a fucking lot it's it's uh, a lot of work and i'm and i'm giving y'all advice i'm giving y'all advice because like as as much as people be acting like oh no this and that there's a lot of girls that are like they, they will never be content with what they have. And it's like, ain't nothing wrong with it. If you want to fix it, if you want to tweak something, bitch, what's fucking wrong with that? The fuck? The fuck? Who? Kari. Kari. Sometimes I be wanting to be more open. Sometimes I be wanting to be more open because like I have experience, I have so much experience and I feel like everybody around me got their body done and everybody had their ups and their downs. But y'all judge people too much. Y'all judge people too much to the point that it's like, you don't even want to say nothing. You don't even want to help nobody because it's just like, y'all be so ready to judge and talk shit. And then it's like, there has to be somebody that guides you and, 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 and tell you the ropes of this shit because it gets motherfucking real, bitch. You, mm, Oh, bitch, you imagine you fucking working, working, and you finally got your little $6,000, and you about to, you hyped up, you about to get your fucking body done, and then you don't fucking like your fucking body, that's the worst, that's why I be wanting to help people, but y'all talk, and y'all judge too much, y'all judge too much, fuck, it's Bryce Davis on the check-in, and as y'all can see, Cardi B talks about regretting getting her ass done or getting butt injections. You know, I understand the mindset of women that want to cater towards men because, you know, it's all in the songs, the rap songs. You know, every song they talk about, they want a girl with a big old ass or whatever the case may be. So I understand the logic in that. But at the same time, women got to understand when men say this is from a sexual point of view, nothing more, nothing less. You know, if a man picks you based off your body, that kind of tells you where his mind is. And nine times out of 10, you know what he wants from you. So, you know, things like that, you don't want to take quite literal. And, you know, as you said, yo, like women that be getting like lipo, lip injections, nose reduced, breast, you know, implants, whatever the case may be. Me personally, I'm not with all that. Like if you got to lose weight or something like that, yo, get in the gym. I'm not with the easy cheat code of going under the knife and, you know what I'm saying, getting your fat removed. You know, to me, that's like mad lazy when you can go in the gym and put that work in. You know, that's just my personal opinion, whatever the case may be. And, you know, if your body, if you want to enhance it and you feel like surgery is the only way, I mean, you can try to hit squats or whatever the case may be. Or you just got to set, you know, you are the way you are at the end of the day. So... You know, just like me, you know, shit, I go to the gym three times a week. You know, I'm trying to get to where I want to be. And, so, you know, I ain't about to take steroids. So, you know, vice versa with women. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they should be doing that, wherever the case may be. That's why you need a good father figure to, you know what I'm saying, tell you what's right and what's wrong. You know, not right, what's right and what's wrong, but, you know, how the man think, you know, shit, got my little daughter in the back talking right now. So, in that case... I'm going to end the video right here. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.